I'm here today with a quick tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now, which is kind of a pinup inspired look, but I'm using products that are really affordable and it's a very, very easy look to achieve. It's a kind of a nice look if you were going from the daytime to evening, so you could just kind of whack on the slip at night and it would look um, much more kind of glamorous and the eye looks are kind of very standard eye look that's very flattering on loads of different colorings as well. So I will let you get on into the tutorial now. I'm using, like I said, very, very affordable products and it's a very easy, fast look to achieve. Let me know if you've done it and how you liked it um, and tweet me pictures and that kind of thing if you've done it and it came out nicely and you're really pleased with it. So um, all my Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of thing will be down below. I know a lot of people were really interested in the Revlon Cherries and the Snow lipstick and wanted me to do a tutorial on it. So this is how I like to My foundation wear it. is already done, as is my concealer, and you just want to get a really kind of nice, even, flawless finish. Nothing too dewy. Um, it tends to be kind of more of a satin finish or a matte finish that tends to work the best for this look, I find. I'm then going to go in with some bronzer, and this is just to warm your complexion. You don't want to make yourself look tanned, because these types of colours, I find, don't really tend to work with a tanned complexion. So what I'm going to use is this bronzer here by Soap and Glory, and this is kind of like a a paler bronzer so it's nice to kind of just warm up your complexion but it's not adding too much um, of a bronzy effect I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush and dust this all over my face and it's kind of very very light so you're not kind of adding too much of anything you can just kind of disguise any problems and then I will go in and contour just ever so slightly with a contour brush and I'm just going to use the same bronzer but only the darker shade and just take this down the hollows of my cheeks just to kind of give my face a little bit more structure and on my jawline and this will just really help to kind of give the illusion of that kind of really um, high cheekbone that tends to work well with most looks. So once I've done my bronzer, I'm then going to go ahead and do then my, for my brows. brows. I'm going to use this Soap and Glory Archery Brow Pencil, and I've been using this loads lately because I absolutely adore it. But I'm only going to use the kind of felt tip part of it because I just want to kind of draw in hairs um, in a very kind of natural way and make them look very tidy but not add too much colour. You don't want to kind of add too much um, drama into the brow because it's going to be quite a full on look as it is with the bright lip and the liner so if you just kind of work the shape of your brow and fill in where you need it then you won't get too much um, of a kind of contrast with the rest of your makeup so just really fill it in gently you can use whatever you'd normally use but do make sure that you give your brow a nice angle because it is quite an angled look anyway then for my eyes i'm gonna start by just priming my eyes i'm gonna use the mua pro um base eye primer I'm just going to take a small amount of this onto my lid and smooth this all over my eyelids just to kind of create a nice base for my eyeshadow. And then once that's on, I'm going to get a flat brush. Now you can kind of use a fluffy brush to do this, but I find you want to use a brush that helps to kind of really pack on the colour. So I'm going to use a flat brush, something like this. And I'm going to take the same Soap and Glory um, palette and I'm going to just use this kind of bone shade right here all over the lids and kind of up till my brow bone just to create a really nice kind of subtle um, highlighting effect. So all over and you can see it's kind of a very pretty white bone shade that really brightens up the eye area. Just noticed I've got a little bit of something there. All over, really, really concentrated, kind of all over the lids, and it's especially good if you suffer from kind of dark eyelids, which I oh, definitely, definitely do. Make sure you kind of take it into the crease. You want to just create a really nice kind of blank canvas for your eyeshadow. Then, once that's done, I'm just going to take a kind of smaller fluffy brush, and I'm then going to go in with the matte grey shade which is this one right here. Again, these kind of shades are very um, changeable. You could just use whatever you like in terms of the shade selection. I just find that mattes tend to work the best for this type of look. So tap off any excess and take this into your crease. Now I always take it a little bit higher up because I've got quite um, hooded eyelids. So I find this works better for me doing it this way, but you can kind of do it however you like. Just really concentrate it kind of on the outer corner. Once you've got that kind of um, in place, I'm then just going to take a big blending brush and blend it all over so you get a nice kind of smoky effect, but it's not really, really harsh. So 
But once that's blended in, you can kind of look, and I think I want to add just a little bit more on the outer part. So just take a little bit more and blend that in as well. Like that. I'm happy with how the eyeshadow looks. Now, in terms of liner, this is kind of a key point in this look, and I'm not someone who really uses liquid liner often because I don't feel like it really suits my face shape. But the liquid liner that I really like is the Zoeva one, and I know this is kind of an affordable drugstore tutorial, but this is a very affordable product. It's just not available in the drugstore. You have to buy it online. But this is what it looks like, and it's just got a really lovely kind of felt tip pen um, applicator. But there's so many of these. I know a lot of people really like the L'Oreal one. I haven't really got a preference because, like I said, I don't tend to wear eyeliner very often so I don't um, find that I'm particularly picky with it but if you are use whichever one you like so I'm going to just take this and slowly start to just draw a line from kind of the middle of my eye I never take it all the way in because I feel that, that makes my eyes look smaller so I just kind of stretch my eye a little and close it And you want to kind of draw a rough shape so this type of shape where I like to kind of drag it outwards you want the line to be a little bit thicker than usual and really kind of work it so you get a really lovely kind of flick and that's kind of the basic way of doing it it's very very easy once you get used to it and then I'll just kind of tidy it up Make sure I'm happy with the shape. Fill in any gaps around the lashes that you might have. That's very, very, very important. Nobody likes to have those little gaps. But I like to kind of keep it like this. If I extend it too much, I just exaggerate how much um, of a small eye I've got and the kind of hooded area. So you need to work with what shape works for you. This is the shape I prefer doing on now myself. Now onto the most exciting part of this look, which is the lips. I like to do the lips first, and then I can kind of decide what type of blush I want to go for. But I'm going to start by just lining my lips completely with the Bourjois Lip Liner in number 11. This is just a nude one. You could do it with a coloured one because I'm going to use a lip brush anyway. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over. Just to really kind of enlarge and smoothen the sides of my lips. And then I'm going to use the infamous Revlon Cherries in the Snow lipstick, which is this beautiful kind of deep pink purpley colour. It's stunning. I'm going to use it on a lip brush just because it makes it a lot easier and you get a more precise shape. I'm just using kind of small lip brush. And I'm going to just get lots of the colour onto my brush first. You really want to kind of make sure that the brush is saturated with colour. So all over. And then I'm going to start at the top of my lips. And don't worry if you haven't got kind of perfect shaped lips or if you're struggling. You kind of come back a couple of times, get a little bit of kind of micellar water and some Q-tips and kind of erase what you need while you're doing it. And work just very slowly and very carefully. It's easy to kind of go overboard, so just do it very easily and kind of work your way into it. And then once I've kind of got a rough shape, I'll then go in with the lipstick itself and kind of fill in the colour because you've kind of got a rough shape and you know that you kind of won't mess it up. I like to just kind of do that to kind of get it into the corners, but you could just go in a little more with a brush. And that's kind of the lips done. You could blot them, but I like the fact that they're kind of a little bit um, shiny. I think it just kind of looks very vintage and very pretty. 
So I will leave it like that. And then for blusher, you kind of do need just a little bit of something. So I'm just going to use a small amount of this e.l.f. blusher. This is part of their bronzing and contouring duo. A really small amount from the blush because it is very, very shimmery and you don't kind of want too much on your cheeks. But just a small amount to kind of give that pretty kind of dull look. And that is the finished look. So I'm sure you can see it's very, very wearable, very easy to achieve and very quick as well. You just need to kind of master um, the technique and then you will be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and if you'd like any more tutorials then let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.